Hi uh, there, welcome to my views and news. Two news stories for you. First one is about Skander Naga Pano, a commander from the Amhara region. A few hours ago, Skander Naga announced the establishment of a sort of central uh, Pano setup with political, uh, diplomatic. Uh, finance wings. He has named some uh, individuals who will lead these uh, wings. Is Skandar alone or is he leading all Fano groups? Has Fano managed to create and establish a central setup? Details for you in this video. Secondly, efforts underway to uh, strike an alliance. Uh, between Tegarai and Amhara. A meeting uh, was held this week. Uh, dozens of uh, people from the two sides and from two other ethnic groups attended this meeting. How advanced is the uh, process of talks between these two sides. Any high level talks ongoing between Tegaraya and Amhara, between TPLF and Fano Lawless. Firstly, we have Skandar Naga, former politician, now uh, a Fano commander, has released a message, a video message. Uh, Interestingly, uh, a Tigrayan uh, journalist uh, released this message. Stalin of Zara Media published the video last night. Uh, uh, Tigrayan news outlets are definitely covering the conflict in Amhara. Why do they support Tigray Amhara alliance or do they want the conflict in Amhara to continue? Whatever the reason is, but. Uh, Maybe shortage of news as well, that is why. Uh, Skandar, we know, formed Amhara Popular Front, APF, last year when he said goodbye to politics and he chose the path of armed struggle. Uh, when APF was formed, it was mainly restricted to Gurjum because back then Zamina Kasi, Gurjum Fano command was in prison. So that is why Skandar was launched from Gurjum. Uh, later, Zamin Akasi was released by the government and Zamin Akasi reclaimed his position. When Skandar formed APF, most of Skandar's fighters were basically Zamin Akasi groups fighters and Masrisha group fighters. Masrisha was also in, in hiding last year when Skandar formed APF. After the formation of APF, Skandar tried to expand APF, but uh, he faced some challenges. In uh, Wallo, East Amhara Fan of Perevodaj announced that APF had no presence in Wallo and that he was not consulted uh, when APF was formed. Uh, but Skandar toured the Amhara region. Uh, Those security forces are trying to locate him, but Skandar managed to visit Gujam. He's from Gujam, uh, he's based in Gujam, but he visited Shoa. He visited Volo. We shared his pictures, videos from these two zones. Did he visit Gondar? We're not sure, but he visited both Shoa and uh, Volo. Uh, and the main purpose behind the visit was that he wanted to create unity among Fano groups. He wanted to establish a central setup for which, you know, Skandar has been working, uh, Colonel. Uh, Fantahun has been working as well. Others too. No success so far. Only on zonal level, some Joa, Gondar, Gajamfano groups have uh, united and they have formed some semblance of organization. Uh, Skandar now announced the formation of a central Pano organization, which he claims. Uh, has uh, almost all Fano groups as parts of the organization. Some are not part of the organization of this new uh, uh, platform. But he said those who are not part of this platform will be our allies.
Name of this new platform is uh, Amhara Fano People's Front (AFPF). His other his his earlier group's name was APF Amhara uh, Popular Front. The name of this new platform is Amhara Fano People's Front (AFPF). Skander says that uh, Fano groups are fighting two enemies. First enemy is the government, Prosperities Party's government. Second enemy is the class of businessmen, greedy businessmen who are bloodthirsty, who are not supporting this resistance movement, rather they are supporting the military. Uh, Skander says that this new organization, this new forum, this new uh, setup has political, finance, diplomatic wings. And he named a few individuals who will lead different uh, wings of AFPF. Dr. Amsalo Esenake, Mulugata Ayaleo, Leol Asfau. Three names he mentioned. The three individuals will lead diplomatic, political, and finance wings. So, finance is the main issue because Pano groups are raising money. They are uh, fundraising in the name of uh, Pano groups. Funds are being raised in the US, in Europe too. But here, Pano groups are not on one page. Different organizations, different individuals are raising money. Mere uh, Vodajo has uh, appointed an individual uh, to uh, raise funds on his group's behalf in the US. Skandar uh, has named uh, other individuals. No mention of David Volde Georgius. Uh, David is already head of FANO uh, APF's uh, foreign affairs wing. Will he continue as uh, AFPF's uh, in charge of foreign affairs? It's not clear. Uh, maybe uh, David will continue and other in individuals uh, have also been assigned different tasks. Let's see, Skandar is trying uh, to create political, diplomatic, uh, financial level cohesion and unity within FANO groups. Militarily, other people are working, like Colonel uh, Fantahon and others. They are working on how to organize different FANO groups militarily. Uh, the military setup, operational setup, is led by former officers of uh, Mahara Special Forces who have joined FANO groups. Skander's work is mainly political, diplomatic, and financial. That is why. That is what he talked about in his video. Mainly, he talked about political, uh, 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 diplomatic, and uh, finance wings of AFPF. Rumors going around for several months that Skandar had been put under house arrest. He had been pushed out of, kicked out of Gojam. But Skandar still is a key man in this resistance movement in the Amharajan. Secondly, a correction. In the last video, I said that uh, PM Abhi, in his meeting with Tegarai representative, said that he offered Sadkan to uh, be appointed as health minister. The uh, correction is that reportedly Abhi talked about. Uh, the demobilization, the rehabilitation commission, uh, which is headed by the Shome Toga. Uh, Sadkan was offered to lead this commission. He did not agree. Health ministry was offered to TPLF to Tegra interim government, but uh, that was uh, not accepted by Tegra. Now, second new story views is about Tegra Amhara engagements. I've been saying, by the way, that uh, Amhara groups are very keen to form alliance with Tegra. People say, Sajid, you just exaggerate. Uh, there is no interest uh, uh, on Amhara's side to form an alliance with uh, Tegraians. But since I talk to people who are 
uh, close to these developments who are part of the plan so i know that an effort is being made though it's in initial stage so far on local level in the us in some other countries tegarai amhara meetings are being held reported it's not that tplf or senior leaders have held meetings with uh, uh senior fano loyalists abroad i am not aware though i think efforts have been made uh, a meeting has been held this week in the us uh, i wouldn't disclose the location the names uh, it was held this week around 70 people attended this meeting majority of them uh, was from two ethnic groups tegarans and amharas some gurage were there to uh, reportedly and uh, uh, discussions were held about uh, formation of an alliance main obstacle was raya and volka which i have been pointing out that whenever amhara and tegarai will sit to form an alliance against the government or alliance uh, for some common objectives the first uh, obstacle they'll face is the status of raya and volkai reportedly this question arose at the meeting obviously in one meeting such issues cannot be resolved but this development indicates that both tegarai and amhara uh, side especially diaspora groups they want to see the two sides on one page to intensify the struggle against the federal government to only to say but as i said earlier in its initial phase uh, this uh, effort of reconciliation is ongoing We'll keep you updated if you have any information about uh, such meetings, such uh, engagements between the two sides. Do get in touch with me. Information I received was through a very reliable uh, friend. Uh, obviously, the meeting was very confidential. The participants were not allowed to take their mobile phones into the venue of the meeting. It was a pretty confidential meeting. That is why no pictures, no videos. But i have confirmed that tegarai amhara diaspora community is trying to uh, work for reconciliation and uh, to form an alliance against the federal government of ethiopian people thank you for watching